Dragon Con, Chris be back here for the 30th anniversary of Dragon Con. We've been doing this a while, and along the way, we found Tom. Tom's Hello. back. Tom, thank you for coming back, man. It's a pleasure. I had no yeah. idea. 30 years. 30 years it's of amazing. this madness. Older than me. Oh, yeah. yeah. Excellent. Well, <laughs> so we had you back last year at the convention for your first ever Dragon Con. That's right. And that's right. how'd it go? I loved it. I mean, that's why I'm back again this year. A good answer. It was a good, <laughs> it's a, actually, it's a really nice crowd. It's a different crowd to other conventions. Really? Yeah. It seemed to be even more cosplayers than the other. And it's, it's really just such a friendly, heavy. friendly time. Did you ever decide if you were going to do a costume for this year, or are you just too busy with work? I may already have a costume. What have we I'm missed? running around in secret. What have we missed? This is the worst kind of tragedy. Well, I'm afraid I don't. All right, fair, fair. So if you did do a costume, if you were to go Tom Isaac, incognito in the halls of Dragon Con. What would you do? Uh, I'd be non-binary and I'd go as Ripley from Alien in her big Would, would you do yeah. the, the, the walkers? Of course. Yeah. Of course. I, I feel like I, we need to make this happen somehow. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the best thing ever. So this, this con, yeah, obviously, you two times now, yeah. panels and things like that. Anything outrageous? like fan interaction at a panel is there like what's been your con memory this year Th this year it's actually it's uh how friendly the panels have been because oh. i won't lie yeah. i arrived thinking uh after the death of abby yeah. at the end of last season i thought my god they're gonna be bang they're gonna be blood. rude yeah yeah uh but it was it was very friendly very so respectful that's the surprise excellent because no you guys one's blaming me that well, i would hope Which not the main thing. you guys it's it, it's a shake-up uh, yeah, of of right. an entire cast, kind of the restart. You bring it in, uh, yeah. Janina, uh, Janina Gavanka, and who's excellent. And you guys, before the camera, we're talking about we're a bunch of big gamer nerds, and yeah. things like that. Janina is a is a big gamer. Um, apparently, in her audition, the producers were saying, "Oh well, Tom likes games as well. This is perfect. You're <laughs> a great fit." Have you guys started doing any gaming around around the sets and things like that? Or uh, we haven't yet. Although I've got my order for the um, the NES. Do you? Uh, the, 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 the one that, the, the little November. mini thing they just yeah, released. with 30 of the games right. built on. One of the writers who was at San Diego Comic Con wow. uh, was on set last week and he got me lots of badges of uh, Mega things. Man. Oh, excellent. Mega Man, which is one of the games on there. Uh, I'm looking forward to that. Did you bring back your Game Boy this year? You told us you bought I, the... the <laughs> I actually bought one last year. Yeah, I remember here. that. Did you bring... So, bring yeah. I'm still got that. So hopefully you've had less time to interact with that Game Boy this year. Yeah, though. I should be kind of focusing on my lines. A little bit though, because you guys rushed in on Friday. I'm assuming. Did you have yeah. the? Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and it's like last year, work, work, work. Yeah, quite. Come on straight in. Here, here from work. So are you? Is it the reverse then, or do you actually have some time off after this? Are they going to let you roam around no, Atlanta? No, and then I'm what? straight back to work. Have you not? Have you not seen? This it? is it's my two, downtime. Two this years in Atlanta now. This is it. Yeah. We need to get you out into this town, my friend. Quite. So we're, gonna, we're, we're, uh, we're heading up to DC in a uh, couple of weeks to okay. shoot some location for a spots. Of days. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. the show is moved up to Washington now. Are you excited? Have you been to DC before? I went. Uh, was it last year? Two years ago for Memorial Day weekend, which no one told me that that's the worst day. To I go didn't to realize DC. that, but as soon as you said that, I've made that realization. Yeah, <laughs> it's uh, the busiest weekend in DC. Oh goodness! But, uh, they do, what do they call it? Rolling Thunder, but they okay. have like 50,000 bikers with American I've seen flags this. Yeah. riding through. So they shut off the streets and the bikers are down. That, um, I'm preparing for my midlife crisis. <laughs> I was picking a bike. Yeah, but that, that's my bike and that's yeah. what I'm going to roll with. So, and did you have like, any Smithsonian time where you were there then, or was it just yeah, so I, crowded? Yeah, I went to the Smithsonian. I, I did the, the mall with all of the, um, the various monuments. Oh. And when we're up there, I think it's just going to be a day of running up and down to as many monuments. Quick, Tom, stand that here shot. and Done. We'll get our money's worth. <laughs> Yeah. That, I imagine that would be kind of like a fun day. It's almost like a like a visual bingo. Like, all right, we're gonna stamp our card. Well, the director has said, prepare to go gorilla with it. Really? Yeah. That's gonna be pretty fun. He's gonna go back to his film school days and just run around. We're and just gonna hide. do things. Now, were you a Fallout player at all? Talking about video oh, games. Oh, I did play Fallout. Yeah. yeah. So are you are you gonna imagine like is it like like you're running from the <laughs> the mutant hordes and things? So yeah, we'll go with that. A little inspiration there. We'll to uh, toss that out there. So uh, we're cutting, cutting near the end of the con. We're here like midday on Sunday for those of you watching. You got any big stuff left in your agenda for Sunday or Monday? Or? I still haven't been over to where the, uh, the artists are. The artists oh, artist alley and things yeah. like that. So I'm going to head around there probably Excellent. this afternoon. Uh, there's a giant toothless dragon from How to Train Your Dragon. I don't know. Is that? Yeah, yeah. They're, they're like full scale. So uh, 
Go find that. Um, I know we're going to be doing that probably after the shoot as well. I just found out about this. Uh, at the yeah. end of last year, when I finished down here, I ran over there because I heard that Bob Camp, who was one of the artists from Ren and Stimpy, oh, yeah, was yes. down there. And I ran over there and caught him just as he was packing up. Oh. So I got to say hi to him because that, that was, be awesome. I loved that show. That, 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 really that, that cartoon is part of why I am who I am today. Like my father and I would watch that it's show. Their fault. <laughs> and yeah, so, so like one year I had the chance to talk to, to, to Billy. And yeah. I was just like, you're like my own, like you're my Mel Blank. You're the reason I hear all these voices quite, in my head. Quite. So it's always fascinating to see who else. So they should pay should for your therapy. It'd really. be a hefty bill at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Things like that. So it was like, was that just like the only Nicktoon that you subscribed to? Like there was a whole era of cartoons. It was like Ridden Stimpy and Doug all came out at the same time. Yeah, I was never so, into Doug. It's a little, little it's off the wall. annoying. Because I didn't like his clothes. No, no, not, not even like the, the sweater <laughs> vest my, for, my, for Quail. I my cartoons through their sartorial decision. <laughs> they, that's an excellent dress Stimpy for that. Stimpy down to his red uh, pajama all in one all with the a little time. flap at the back. There's, some, there's something We've convenient about one. that. That should yeah, be my cosplay. Yes, the, the Stimpy with the flap. Yeah. I, I, again, I, you keep toying us with these ideas and we're going to find a way to make these <laughs> Next happen. Year. Done. We've got that for on film. Done. That'll be excellent. All right, well, before you get out of here, because I know you've got a hectic schedule, uh, you, you, you partook of this last year, those of you. We shot an interview last year and didn't get to air it, so we've got Tom oh. back. But we have random questions from Randall. So if you will dig in, say hello to our little Randally friend, and see what kind of questions you've got. All right, turn up my glasses. Oh, okay. Me. Oh, no, that's right. Uh, yeah. If you could be any cereal box character, who would you be? All right, what's your cereal? Wow. I'm trying to think what you'd have. We, I, the only ones that we share are Tony the Tiger. All right. Do you have Cocoa Pops? There's Cocoa the Monkey. We, we, uh, no, we don't have the crackle, monkey, but we have the Sam Crackle and Pop. We have Sam Crackle and Rice Crippers. We have those. But it does have, it does have to be a shared cereal I'm, box. I'm not going to so. be one of Snap Crackle and Pop because no. I imagine they're pretty sordid. When the That's cameras fair. are switched off, you <laughs> imagine what really makes them yeah, Snap like, and Crackle. They're a little, little, little tense there. Uh, who's that one that? Really spooky old man. Spooky Captain, old man. Captain uh, Crunch. Captain Crunch, yeah. What does he do? Uh, he it gives you cereal that shreds the roof of your mouth, as I understand from my friends. So. And salty old sea dog. So, uh, yes. I'll be him. Done. Salty old sea dog, Tom. I said, Tom, thank you again for coming back out, pleasure. my friend. It's a pleasure. And nice we're going to see you around the con, and hopefully we'll see you next year. Thank right. you, Dragon Con. Thanks very much. Awesome.